I'm sorry. What did he say then? Dad. I haven't told him. And I'm not going to tell him. You're right. I don't think he's in a fit state to deal with this at the moment. But I think we are going to have to tell the police, Daniel. Mm. Look, I know it's tough, but she's your mom, and apart from anything else, you need to find out what happened to her. But they're going to want to know why I didn't report her missing before. You just tell them what you told me. All you can do is tell the truth, OK? And, yeah, they might ask you some difficult questions, but if you don't do this, I mean, if you don't try and find out what happened to her, you'll always regret it, believe me. And you don't have to go on your own, OK? I'll come with you. How is she behaving? Strange, I suppose. And then she had been for a while. Upbeat and loving one minute, screaming and shouting the next. I never knew where I was with her. And how did you react when she said that she was leaving? Part of me was relieved, if I'm honest. You don't feel angry with her? I could have gone with her, I suppose, but... <laughs> we weren't getting on, so... Any reason in particular? No. Nothing. Other than what I've told you already. Were you worried when she left? No, not really. There was food in the fridge and she'd left some money. And the place was calm. Besides, I thought she was coming back. Look, um, I know this may be difficult, but I need you to cast your mind back six years and describe to me what your mum was wearing that day. A pair of black pants, plain black shoes, flat, like moccasin type things. And this top, it was her favourite. Cream uh, with flowers all over it. Reds and yellows, like a shirt, you know. And then she picked up her coat, beige trench coat. And this check scarf that I'd got her for Christmas. She left. <laughs> Can I buy you a pint of water or <laughs> summer? Tell you what, get them in. I'll have an orange juice. I'll just check on Dad. OK. Oi! Oi! So what happened to you, then? Oh. Yeah! How'd it go? Is that all you're going to say? No, I'm, I'm obviously, I'm uh, sorry. Oh, you know what? Just get yourself a T-shirt, save your vocal cords. Have you any idea how unimportant Simon felt today? How insignificant as per? Oh, do you know what? I'm fed up of hearing myself say the same things over and over. No, please wait. I am sorry. Peter, them words, they mean nothing anymore. Not to me and not to Simon. You know what? You just think you can be as irresponsible as you want and then I'll just make everything better. Well, do you know what? I can't because I'm juggling stuff. Well, OK, well, that makes two of us. I forgot because I was at the police station with Daniel. Oh, is he all right? Well, his mum, Denise, she left six years ago and he hasn't seen her since. Oh, all right. And we can't tell me dad for obvious reasons. And at the moment, to be honest, I feel like I'm the one who's trying to make everything right for everybody. And I know I, it's not easy. No, it's not. I'll talk to Simon. Yeah, you might want to wear a crush helmet while you're doing it, eh? So? Come on, look, I'm not so irresponsible after all then, eh? Hmm, maybe not this time. But I'm trying. Spread the word.